All right, we're gonna do the finally do the J Cole event that I've been like putting on hold for like forever. So I'm trying to get VC, but never mind, I guess. Um, so what's the thing I need to do here? Yep. Yep, something gotta do here. All right, let's do this. Who's first? Whoa, 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 take it easy, Nate. Look, like you about to jump out of your seat. <laughs> What's up, brother? Well, how do you respond to the reports that Athela Akben is not hanging up the phone and other teams ask about your availability, man? Okay, how do I put this? Everyone has a job on the team. And Adela's job is to explore every option to improve the roster. But wait, you don't think that you've earned a reprieve from trade talks with your recent play? No, I mean, not really. I mean, people are gonna ask about you if you're playing well. That just comes with the territory, bruh. I mean, but there are stars in this league that are off the table without question. Okay, Right and? now, you're not one of them. Oh, okay. Listen, fam, I don't compare myself to other people like that. If my team is winning, I'm good. So that's what I'm all about. That's it. I don't listen to all that outside noise and chatter. All right, that's it for today. See the next time, y'all. What's going on? Big three. We talked to you about the three second rule. Yeah, she knows. Got a clear case. And not any, need any trouble. Welcome to the Jackson Nella Show. We got a special guest today, ladies and gentlemen, Freddie Novak. How you doing, brother? I'm great. Thanks for having me, Jackson. <laughs> so talk to me about teammate grades. They're all over the state of the team report you just released. They sure are. Well, listen, I'm not a stats guy by trade, but I am a data guy. So I think I can explain things without making too many mistakes. Hmm. Talk to me like I have no idea about this stuff, which should be easy because I don't. <laughs> Okay, well listen, Teammate Grades, which was designed by our absolutely phenomenal analytics department, is an all-in-one proprietary metric. It takes into account everything a player does on the court, grades his performance on a scale of F to A plus to tell you exactly how much that player contributed to winning. Oh, sounds like something Minerva will come up with to get a job. Yeah, well, it's actually really fascinating, Jackson, and it routinely uncovers insightful information. Do you want to hear an interesting finding? I want to sleep here, Freddy, so yeah, please. <sighs> okay, well, listen, we calculate teammate grades for every player in the league, not just players on our own team, and it turns out that MP grades out as one of the most effective rookies in his class, bettering some pretty big names. Better than who? Shep Owens, for one. <laughs> 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 Hold on. No offense, Freddy, but um, if that metric says that MP is better than Shep Owens, boy, you gonna have to throw it in the trash, light it on fire, and throw that trash over a cliff. <laughs> well, look, as someone with a scientific worldview, I appreciate a skeptic, Jackson, <laughs> but while our findings might be surprising, we stand behind them 100% and we feel confident that public perception will eventually catch up to our cutting edge analysis. Mm hmm. Public perception might just stay where it is, knowing the fact that Chef Owens is better than MP. Only time will tell. Hmm. That it will. Well, look, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but it has been a great time having you as a guest, and you are even a better sport. Well, thanks for having me, Jackson. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> you got it, Freddie. Jackson Owens is on to you shit. Like, bro, what the hell? But the real steam that got Jackson. Who's who's this? Hey, MP, uh, you busy? Something just came up. I could use your help with. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll just follow. Is that weird? All right. Um. Hopefully, I actually do this right, cause I will waste my time. If I don't, I'm, I'm gonna just go back to what I was doing. Okay, it's not that far away. Let's see if I try to get sub use the subway right here. I think it's over here. Yeah, it is. I'm not sure if that house would make you join the faction. I forgot what's going on. Because, like, I don't know if my friends are in BC East or whatever. What's up, man? Big fan. Boss, what's good, fam? Yo, huge fan, man. That one track you did with that verse. Yo, look, for the record, I think you're just as good a player as Shep. I mean, sure, he's more athletic, more dynamic, more exciting, yeah. but you know what I mean. <laughs> I, you I, I, you I know I. what you mean. I know what you mean, man. Yo, but, uh, Cole around? Oh, he just left. Seriously? Oh, man, I was looking to, like, talk to him about a collab together or something like that. A collab with you? Yeah. I mean, Cole gonna say no, but I feel you. Wait, why would he say no? Bro, do you know how many people are trying to get a verse out of Cole every day? Probably a lot. <laughs> Definitely a lot, man. Look, I like UMP, and you could ball, but you have no track record with music. It just is what it is. I got a slide, man, but it was good to meet you. Almost that, man. It's a pleasure, man. Hey, and I'm gonna be seeing you soon. Trust. That's a bet. That's a bet. So that's it. The subway station is like somewhere over here. Yeah, it is. Let's go. What are they thinking putting you on the bench? I don't get it. How'd everything go with J. Cole? <laughs> well, mm, mm. uh oh, that's your not great sigh. I have a not great sigh. Yeah, it's the same one you used when I asked you how things went with my dad when I left you alone with him Fam, for the first for time. For two hours, the only thing he said to me was, shut up, I'm watching Shark Tank. Whoa, whoa, whoa J. Cole watches Shark Tank? No, 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 her, her dad, Shark Tank. Bro, her dad, man. I mean, but J. Cole is, he's a dead end. Sorry. Okay, we can pivot. I'll come up with some names. I'm sorry to say it, but... I don't see how we make this work without J. Cole. He's the central figure in the music scene here. I mean, well, he's not gonna make time out of his already busy schedule to help a random basketball player, so... How's that? Then we've gotta make him see that there's something in it for him from an artistic standpoint. Okay. You know what, Boz did say I don't have a track record, so... Okay, I got it. MP's got to drop a mixtape. No, tape. no. What? No. I'm nice for a basketball player, but I'm not nice. No, no, no. He's nice, nice. I, I was nice thinking, 
I was thinking MP works on a remix of one of J. Cole's songs. I know of a producer we could try and get in touch with, Amir Simsek. Mm -hmm. Wait, PhD Monk? Mm hmm. Yo, that dude's amazing. I mean, he, he can right. make a beat out of anything. Uh -huh. That's what I'm what saying. Was that? He made that one track we where it was snoring, like all right? samples of him mm -hmm. snoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough. Wait, but I mean, you think he'll collaborate with MP? It's Would worth an that? ask. I mean, it would show that MP's got his ear to the ground. And you can get MP in touch with him? No. Really, no one can. He's a total recluse. But I do know that he lives in the city and that he loves vinyl. All right, so uh, head over to Eric's. If anyone knows how to get in touch with him, it's going to be Marvin. All right. Time to do this music All right. Well, well. Look what the proverbial cat has dragged into our sonic showroom. Might I help you locate some top 40 drivel? Uh, not today, man. <laughs> but I was hoping you guys could help me find uh, a customer. Unfortunately, that information is protected by clerk-client privilege and cannot be divulged. Without some monetary encouragement. Oh, come on. Fine. How much would it be to find Amir Simsek? No. Please remove yourself from oh, the premises. Wait, wait. Come on, come on. I'm just trying to talk to the guy. Monk doesn't need to be harassed. <laughs> harassed? I just think that we could work together. That's all. That's hilarious. It would be more likely that PhD Monk would prevail in a contest of slam dunks than find anything worthy of collaboration within you. All right, fine. Ask your questions. And of what questions do you speak? I mean, we all know what's gonna happen here. You're that weird record store clerk who refuses to help customers if they don't answer trivia questions, you know? It's kinda like your thing. It is kinda your thing, man. I had no idea I'd become so predictable. Perhaps in the future, I'll prepare feats of strength to test would-be quest seekers. But for now, I'll say this. I reject your claim of worthiness and refuse to provide any information about the whereabouts of one Amir Simsek, professionally known as PhD Monk, barring your superiority in a battle of wits. See, it'd be more powerful if he didn't actually know it was coming. <laughs> Bro, like I said, just ask your questions, man. Your lack of appreciation for the dramatic has irked me. Prepare for questions so punishing, they will shake your confidence in the very laws of the universe. I'm embarrassed on your behalf, Marvin. <laughs> Truth Hurts was a number one smash for which artiste? Lizzo. Don't pull a muscle patting yourself on the back. Which group of rock royalty insists that they will rock you? Boom, boom, ba. Queen. Unexpected, but yes. In their hit 1992 track, what did Pete Rock and CL Smooth do over you? Easy. They reminisce over you. Fine, whatever. That's it? That's it. Against all odds, you have prevailed. I blame myself. However, I am nothing if not trustworthy. Great, so you can give me an adjust for Amir Simsek? No, I have no idea where he lives. No one does. Wait, so what was the point of me answering your stupid questions? Mainly for my own amusement. As you can see, there's not a lot of action here. Do you know how many times I've sorted the EDM for babies section? Yo, you've got to be kidding me right now. I assured you, you would not leave here empty-handed. While we know not where the man you seek lays his head, we do know where he's known to drop his beats. Give Ben your phone. No, that's not happening. I'm just going to drop a pin, old man. All right. 
Should have said that then. There's a dope crew that battles here. Mm -hmm. PhD Monk has been known to drop off works in progress to give him a trial run. You're welcome. Funny thing is, I got, I got all the answers pulled up right here in my phone. Let's go. <laughs> what the answers I could have actually like, answered? Like, the the remnants, remnants over to you one is like the super easy one. <laughs> I, I, I could have actually answered that one myself. With all the other ones. Nah. Maybe the queen. I don't even know. Bro. I know for sure the, the remnants over you on that. <laughs> it's literally the one that makes the most sense. Pretty get right off the rip. Not strong, no strut, don't belong, and guess what? It's clear cut, no rhymes, and you're all gut, son. And in the long run, everyone knows the scuttle butt. Orion, so scuttle your butt, grab a donut, and run along. Hey. <laughs> so much for body positivity. Oh, man. Yo, MP? What's going on? Hey, man, man Master fan. Yeah, yeah. MP says you on, no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look, man, I wear this jersey ironically. It's for my stick, you know? Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Anyway, man, I'm looking for PhD Monk, and I heard that you could lead me to him. Oh, yeah, that's my boy, but I gotta respect his privacy, you feel me? What? Why are you lying to him, bro? I'm not <laughs> lying, dog. What I heard he hangs about? out at Reader's. Word? But yeah, but it's like an underground, underground club. Okay. You know, so it's like in a basement, and it's a secret. Yeah, and you can't get in without the password. Okay, hold on. What's the password? I'm not about to betray my friends like this any further. Okay, he doesn't even know your name, Kendall. I told you in the streets it's squirrel. Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> There's got to be some way we can work this out. Help me here. Uh, you could battle him for it. Nah, I, you know, I, I was actually thinking I, more like I, game I, tickets. I'd take a flick with you or something like that. You know, I could do that. Yeah? The gauntlet is set. Hey, turn that beat up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. I'm not even a battle rapper, man. Chill. Nah, nah, you good. I got you, I got you. Okay, so that jersey, that is a boy's XL. He's got a plantar ward on his left foot. He's been trying to get rid of it for like three years. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Uh, he's terrified of balloons. And he's got a stuffed pig that he sleeps with. He calls it Piggy Smalls. And, um, That's good yo, it's on low key. He's got a crush on his stepmom. What? When they go low, I go significantly lower. Let's go. Okay. You were three-year college player all this time and never got chose. I met your girlfriend, Mila Garva, kissed her hand and gave her a rose. On this court, I'm way too cold and you not threaten me. Just 20 years old, but Ricky Bennett's on his second MP. I cross you over, step back hezzy, then I still kept going. We both know that where you going, rather have Chef Owens. Your agent too young, ain't the only one finessing they roll. Ain't hard to tell, you only care about impressing J. Cole. Already had a talk about your game with PhD Monk. I told him soon as you step foot on the court, we start smelling skunk, jump is junk, and we gonna see if you gonna last on this court. What's MP stand for? Miss points? Uh, you look like trash on the court, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's your turn, man. Kendall, this ain't what you wanna get into. I got locked down defense, so don't try to get mental. This full court pressure, protect your neck or I'll wreck you. Check it, I'm with the extras. I'm Euro stepping and flexing. <laughs> they shooting, I made you look. I'll break your ankles and probably fix that water on your foot. <laughs> I mean, you've been trying for three years. You're not supposed to be here. You don't even have a lift pass. You're not even supposed to ski here. Brand new Jordans. I'm jumping from the foul line.
in your career, throw a party on your own dime. I'm ill with the rock, I'm hoving this city, dog. I heard you sleeping on me with your stuffed toy, Piggy Smalls. Oh, man, that was harsh, MP. I thought you were my friend. Yo, I thought you knew I was sensitive about my weight. You're right. I crossed the line. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Come on, man, come on. No, and I feel like, like, like you no, know, that's a bunch of I understand. Right, right. Uh, <clears throat> a deal's a deal. Okay, so. There was a minimum of cinnamon in the aluminum pan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Say that again. There was a minimum of cinnamon, cinnamon in, in the, the aluminum, aluminum pan. pan. There was a minimum of cinnamon in the I, aluminum I, I, pan. I keep it down, fam. Yes. My bad. My bad. I appreciate it, though. Yeah. Hey, we appreciate you. This has been so good for us. Hey, if you see Monk, uh, tell him Squirrel said what's up. I got it. He doesn't know who you are. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Shut up. No, he does not. And excuse me, Listen. a little more respect on my name. Piggy's gonna hear about uh, this. Don't, please don't tell Piggy. All right, please MP. Don't. All right. I just roasted out Goofy. The Goofy eye's been roasted. Hello? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there is a minimum of cinnamon in the aluminum pan. Hello? Wrong. How? There was a minimum of cinnamon in the aluminum pan. So what did I say? Is, but it's was. Okay, okay, okay. There was a minimum of cinnamon in the aluminum pan. Wait. Yo, open up, man. I have the password. Don't get me in trouble, okay? Your secrecy for me. That new PhD, huh? Oh man, that beat is tough. Now, how you get in here? You secretly work for the government or something? Because legally, you're supposed to tell me if you do. Nah, man, I don't think that's how that works. Oh, well, you seem to know a lot about how the government works. I right, look, so I met this guy, Squirrel, and um, we're not friends, or nothing like that, but basically, we battle hey, right for cool. a second. But there's a reason Squirrel's out there, and me and my crew's in here. You MP, right? Yeah. Oh, you look a lot taller on TV. Name's Lil' Mel. Yeah, I know you are, man. You made that diss track, right? You're a step leaving me in a clay if you're still all them plays. You know, it's better when I do it. It's better when I do it. Right. But it's cool that you're a fan. You hear that, Pops? The city's second choice wait, is wait, a hold, fan. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. What you mean by second choice, fam? Oh, I'm just playing. But for real, though. <laughs> so what brings you in, player? Looking for some plumbing supplies? Let me know. My Pops will hook you up. Toilets, faucets, shower heads. You check your drain stoppers recently? No, no, no. I'm looking for PhD Monk, man. He hangs out here sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Why you looking? Well, I'm thinking I can collaborate with him. You know, is that something that maybe you can help me out with? I don't know. Because on one hand, ballers that I met named MP generally seem to be decent and trustworthy. But on the other hand, I'm blanking on anything for the other hand. He could be a cyborg. No, no, I'm right. not a cyborg. Yeah, what, what do you feel about the integration of human technology with augmentation? Um, neutral, I guess. Interesting. I still need more. You need to battle him. It's the only way to know for sure. That's not going to prove anything. Hold on. Hold that's on. exactly what a cyborg is saying. Hey, between me and you, he's not going to let this go. Drop that beat.
All right. Hey. Hey. Rap against MP? Easy breezy. Yo, it's nothing, fam. You should ball on the app. Your agent is your only fan. Playoffs? He in Cancun getting the lovely tan. So since the off-season then, let's rockin' with the summer jam. And your jumper kinda weird still. Such a nightmare, J. Cole couldn't even see it inside of Dreamville. And PhD Monk, he really couldn't care, y'all. Cause your album and your jump shot both was air balls. Things change, apologize to Owen Shep, a big thing, a bit strange. Your only crossover is when you switch lanes. Nah, he never had one. Around the city, he's bad blood. Bowie's grandson couldn't finish your and one. Yeah, I'm short, but I'm no hero minor. I rise up, I heard me Lagarva, his advisor. That's his girlfriend, don't invite her. I might slide up and little metal a metal in before you wife her. Back in the day, you was working in plumbing with something nothing. Got a little shine, now you think you hotter than ovens. But you not in my starting fire. No, you have not arrived. You are not the type that these other players are idolized. <clears throat> I'm about a dollar, you could keep your two cents. And if you're hooping, you do do. I'm poop scooping. I'ma shack the backboard, I'ma cave the roof in. I said I hope it doesn't rain since I caved the roof in. Wow. Oh, I know you've been running to daddy. Mm, mm, mm. I'ma pull up in your face like I know your Addy. Nothing but net, shoe deals, nothing but checks. I know you see me skate, I got nothing but decks. I'm a big enough man to admit defeat. That was impressive, MP. I bet Shep can't do that. Actually, he probably could. He's good at everything. I love that dude. So does this mean you know I'm not a cyborg? Obviously. Cyborgs can't say the word sentiment. Tongue technology isn't there yet. Oh. I just wanted to, you know, see if you had the skills before I introduced myself. Yo, you PhD monk? Yeah. PhD monk D Mo. Yo, it's not a complicated yo, code. Yo, I, I love to talk to you about working on something together, man. I got some really, really dope ideas I think you might like. Nah, nah, just let the ideas come organically. Let them form. Right. Join me. <clears throat> I love when he does that. Quiet metal. You're a basketball player, right? Yeah. And you live in this city. Yeah. And you have ambition to achieve. We can build a track from that. Okay, get me some sound, some basketball sounds mm -hmm. from somewhere. The Dreamer Court. Ever since they put fresh paint, bouncing a ball has a specific tender, timber. It's like, it's ethereal. When you have that sound, you come find me. I'll give you my card, but uh, I, go, I go shopping on Tuesdays. Hey, and MP, let me know how you feel about getting your drain stoppers. I got some brushed nickel ones in stock that'll change your life. I, I'm change gonna, your life. I, I'm going to think about it, bro. Man, this dude, little metal. Man, then you, this man's a clown. Boy. I'm about to get your pickle cheese, boy. I'm about to get your. I'm about to get your pickle cheese, boy. I'm about to get your.